Good morning. Well, it's Monday morning. It's actually looking like it's pretty nice. It looks like it's about minus one outside. So I'll be able to get going. Nice and early, gonna get the cleaner fired back up. Before I head up there though, I wanted to check these, put these oats in three or four days ago. Uh, I, I really like to double and triple check when it comes to germination. I mean, obviously you can understand that if you don't start out with good seed, you're already gonna be behind the eight ball. So two, three months ago, whenever we did our first germ, uh, I got 94% on the oats. This time I got 93. So there's these seven up here that don't look like they're going to grow. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I guess a guy will never know. But the rest of them look pretty good. 93%. There's really nothing wrong with that. So we're uh, going to get back at cleaning today. Hopefully we can get the oats done or almost done. Well, that's quite a different change from about two hours ago. So I was up about six o'clock and uh as it got brighter it was actually really nice <clears throat> thermometer inside said about minus one and uh basically by about 8 30 the fog has uh has set in so there's a bit to do this week <clears throat> i sold a load of peas to the broker i guess you could call it so our green peas, they're sort of a niche market specialty type thing. You can't just haul them directly to a grain elevator. So they got to go to a seed cleaning plant, get cleaned, get loaded into their own car or own shipping container or whatever to get to their final destination. And that's one of the reasons we grow them. So they generally, you can get a at least a dollar. Lots of times it's a buck fifty, two bucks, sometimes even a little better over a commercial yellow pea or something like that so they don't yield as much and it's a bit trickier to ensure that you're going to get that good quality that's why we grow them with canola keeps them up out of the ground makes harvestability a lot easier they don't get things like earth tag they don't end up so dusty the canola cushions them so they don't split all the heck when you're trying to handle them and uh that's a, that's a big part right they want a nice clean green pea that's not broken up so growing them with canola and some of those harvest management <clears throat> things that we do helps us get a better product so those gotta go i mean they doesn't sound like they'll go today but uh i got the truck in the shop anyways i got new steer tires put on carl fix the airbags that hold up the uh cab suspension one had a hole in it right now i'm just gonna fire up the seed cleaner and get it going and then probably when my dad gets here he'll Watch this and I'll go make some more bags. Oh, well, it was a good thing I had my safety glasses on, I guess. I'm not exactly sure of the gravity of the uh, situation, but I'm in a great deal of pain. So how did that happen? Well, I was trying to adjust this fully and I fell off the ladder. So working alone, you want to make sure you're not doing stupid shit. Anyways, I'm back up here. I'm going to, uh, I texted my mommy, so she's going to come and see, clean up the old eye a bit there. But while I wait her arrival, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get this tight so we can keep cleaning the old. I also think my sunglasses are probably for the bin. I didn't find them. No, no, they're in my pocket. They held out. Winner, winner. Oh, well, good evening. It's like five o'clock now. I got back. Obviously today, right, didn't go the way we thought it was going to go this morning. I, uh, after I kissed that ladder, that sort of put a damper on the rest of the day's events. But uh, we did, uh, mother bandaged me up and in that process, she thought, you know, we better get to the hospital, just have a look here, eh? And uh, I had some blood work to do anyway, so I was like, well, this will be a two birds with one stone situation. I'll be able to run in and while I'm waiting for the doctor, I'll be able to get my blood work done. And uh, of course, it didn't all happen in that order, but <clears throat> it was successful anyways. Uh, I thought they would just bandage this up properly and then uh, 
send me on my way, but they put, uh, they put five stitches in there. He was gonna go for six, but the freezing was coming out and he worked from the top down. So he was getting kind of close to my eyeball and I was starting to twitch a little bit. And uh, he claimed he'd been up since like nine o'clock the night before. So I <clears throat> negotiated down to five stitches because I figured by the time we got to six, with no freezing and me shaking and him shaking that <clears throat> might not be the best <laughs> best outcome for my eyeball so anyways that was good obviously uh can't can't say enough good things about the the treatment you get in uh you know in, in canada for sure our healthcare system that way uh nurses are all excellent <clears throat> the administrative staff was really really good getting you signed in and things and then of course the doctors are top shelf as well and come from all over the world that doctor claimed that he had uh, <clears throat> studied in India so that was pretty cool good to have a chat with them of course when you talk about the healthcare system in Canada and partially there always is a but and the but is um, like the waiting times now I'm not complaining about mine I'm just stating the fact it was an hour in the lobby and to get into the like the ER part or the whatever the, your bed I guess and then uh, another hour and about 25 30 minutes there and then get sewn up and then it was only after that that they would let me re-sign in to do the blood work and i think that might have been just a miscommunication but so and then it was another whatever 30 minutes waiting outside the lab to get uh to get uh, that blood work done so there's definitely um you know, that, that's a bit frustrating and I'm, I'm thinking there's probably some operational things that could be done different. But like I say, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. There's people that wait seven, eight, nine, ten months, a year, a year and a half to get their knees or their hips replaced and stuff like that. So if I got to wait three hours to fix a wound that was born out of stupidity, can't, uh, can't complain too much. Anyways, I think that's going to be it. I, uh, I'm going to go in for supper now and probably just chill for the rest of the evening i got uh, dad clean seed all day while i was gone so that was also a, a win all you got to do is fall off and smash your face on a ladder and then you get out of cleaning seed for the day he cleaned a bunch i just went up there uh and i think what happened just just like right when i was talking to him the hydraulic auger back or the hydraulic motor backed off from the auger for this to feed the cleaner so we'll have to look at that tomorrow also, I got to haul two, maybe two and a half loads of peas tomorrow over to the seed plant. I sold a, a car load of that, so that's got to get cleaned and loaded into a car. And then, uh, and then after that's all done, hopefully we can uh, get the oats finished up, switch over to the barley, and then I can maybe go and get a load of fertilizer and bring that home too. So lots coming up here in the next week. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.